Good morning, RTI. Um, it's perhaps a little ironic that I don't often get to address you all at once since we rarely meet as a full regiment. And during this time of not being able to meet at all, I'm actually able to get to everyone, address everyone through digital means. Um, if we were physically drilling this weekend, we would be gathering together for a change of responsibility ceremony. We hold these ceremonies not only to recognize the accomplishments of the Sergeant's Major, but also to celebrate our heritage, the individual soldiers, and the families of the unit. This morning, Command Sergeant Major Creston Rabtoy will relinquish responsibility as the 124th Regiment Command Sergeant Major to Command Sergeant Major John Digby. And while I wish we could be doing this in person on a fine sunny afternoon in Colchester, we will adapt and overcome in this as we always have whenever we're called upon to do so. Command Sergeant Major Creston Rabtoy has been a member of the Vermont Army National Guard since August 1986, when he enlisted as a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout with the 2nd Battalion, 172nd Armor in Rutland, Vermont. He remained a traditional guardsman and progressed through the Cavalry Scout duty positions to the rank of Sergeant First Class. Command Sergeant Major Rabtoy entered the AGR workforce in June 1999 as the Readiness NCO and Scout Platoon Sergeant for HHC, second of the 172nd Armor. In 2001, he changed his MOS to 19 Kilo and he successfully completed the M1, M1A1 Master Gunner course at Fort Knox, Kentucky. CSM Rabtoy remained in that assignment until he transferred to the headquarters of the 86th Armor Brigade as the Radius NCO in Northfield, Vermont, where he remained until March 2005. Subsequently, he was promoted to Master Sergeant and attached to Florida's 53rd IBCT with 36 other Vermonters at Task Force Catamount. In July 2005, he deployed to Afghanistan as an embedded tactical trainer assigned to the 207th Kandak located in Herat. In addition, he was a U.S. Army representative at the NATO and UN table prior to and during Afghanistan's 2005 national election. Upon his return, Command Sergeant Major Rabtoy was appointed as First Sergeant for HHC 86 IBCT Mountain in February of 2007. He was selected by the 3rd Battalion Information Operations of the 124th Training Regiment as a TIOC instructor. During his time at the IO Battalion, he progressed to Chief Instructor and assisted in standing up the Signal Training Battalion. Command Sergeant Major Rabtoy also assisted the battalion in sustaining their Institute of Excellence during the 2009 accreditation. He remained with the Signal Training Battalion until 2011 when he transferred to the Modular Training Battalion as Chief Instructor and Deputy Commandant. He was promoted Sergeant Major in 2013 and was assigned as the GT Operations NCO. In 2016, Command Sergeant Major Rabtory returned to the regiment as its CSM and Commandant and assumed responsibility for the oversight of all NCOs and enlisted soldiers of the regiment. His time as a CSM of the regiment was punctuated with its final successful accreditation in 2019. Command Sergeant Major Rabtoy continues to seek self-improvement and strives to create an environment that offers unlimited potential to students and staff while adhering to the standards required to sustain a schoolhouse of excellence. This is the second time I've had the pleasure of working with Sergeant Major Rabtoy and I am forever impressed with his dedication to the soldiers. When I first took command, one of his first, one of our first conversations was him telling me that he may have upset a few folks at TRADOC. But I wasn't overly concerned because I knew he, I knew him well enough to know that any fight he picked was for the sole purpose of making our courses and our unit better for the soldiers who had to live them. I know every soldier in the unit joins me in wishing him well and whatever the future holds. And I look forward to the day that I can shake his hand in thanks and appreciation. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Victoria Rabtoy. If we were all together today, Sergeant Major Rabtoy would be presenting her with a bouquet of red roses, probably with tears in his eyes, in appreciation of her dedicated service to the regiment. Red is the color of the heart and reflects the love and concern that Mrs. Rabtoy has shown our soldiers and their families. Her roses would be in full bloom, symbolizing the beauty and fulfillment of her time with the brigade. Command Sergeant Major John Digby was born and raised in Arlington, Massachusetts and moved to St. Albans, Vermont in 1995. He enlisted in the Army National Guard in 1990 and attended basic training and advanced training at the infantry school at Fort Benning, Georgia as an 11 Bravo infantryman. 
He was initially assigned to Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion of the 172nd Infantry Mountain, and continued to serve at the Joint Force Headquarters Counter Drug Program, Army Mountain Warfare School, Recruiting Command, the 124th Regional Training Institute, the Cavalry Squadron, 86th Infantry Brigade Combat Team Headquarters, and the Joint Forces Headquarters. Command Sergeant Major Digby has served in a variety of assignments as a rifleman, radio telephone operator, machine gunner, sniper, sniper squad leader, platoon sergeant, recruiter, protective detail leader, embedded trainer, instructor, course manager, troop first sergeant, operations sergeant, and operations sergeant major at the battalion, brigade, and staff levels. He served in combat tours and Operation Enduring Freedom in 2003 and 2004, and again in 2010, and has trained both Afghan Army and Macedonian Special Purpose Forces in support of the global war on terror. Command Sergeant Major Digby's military schools include numerous tactical and instructor certifications, the United States Army Mountain Warfare School winter and summer courses, the Scout Sniper course, and the Cavalry Leader course, as well as the United States Army Sergeant's Major Academy. Command Sergeant Major Digby holds military occupational specialties in cavalry, infantry, and recruiting. He holds an associate's degree in criminal justice, a bachelor's degree in individual studies focused on behavioral science, and a Master's of Science in Management focused on organizational leadership. This will be my first opportunity to actually work with Sergeant Major Digby, although we've known each other forever. I have full confidence in both his competency and his commitment to this unit and the Vermont National Guard. As you may have noticed from his bio, he has spent some of his history in our RTI units as an instructor and as a student. And as they say, all roads lead home, and we are certainly happy to have him home. I'd also like to welcome Heather to the RTI family. Command Sergeant Major Digby owes her a bouquet of yellow rosebuds now. Yellow is meant to symbolize the friendship we extend to Heather and her family, and the newly budding roses would symbolize the beginning of her journey with the regiment. The change of responsibility is a simple yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Most of you have likely seen one of these ceremonies before. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the non-commissioned officer's sword. But we are in unprecedented times and therefore must take unprecedented measures. We cannot physically pass the NCO sword this weekend, but the symbolism remains. In 1840, the War Department adopted the unique non-commissioned officer's sword. It was a completely functional weapon, not intended for display, but rather for hard and dedicated use. While no longer part of the Army's inventory, American sergeants wore it for over 70 years through the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. The passing of the sword signifies the relinquishing of responsibility and authority from the outgoing to the incoming Command Sergeant Major. Even as Command Sergeants Major come and go, the sword remains razor sharp, representing the continuity and dependability of the NCO Corps. Normally, the sword would pass from the outgoing Command Sergeant Major to the Commander, recognizing his relinquishing of responsibility. I will now read the order of relief for Command Sergeant Major Creston Rabtoy. Having served faithfully and with distinction, you are hereby relieved of responsibility as the Command Sergeant Major of the 124th Regional Training Institute, effective 5 April 2020. You have executed the duties of your office with dignity, dedication, and devotion to the command. Your leadership to the non-commissioned officers and soldiers and the sound guidance to the regiment's officers have been of the finest quality. As the Command Sergeant Major, you have upheld the traditions, customs, and the history of the unit to the highest standard. You have set an example for all to follow. The NCO sword would then be passed from the commander to the incoming Sergeant Major, and the order of assumption of responsibility for Command Sergeant Major John Digby would be read. Let it be known from this day forward that the commander of the 124th Regional Training Institute places special trust and confidence in your patriotism, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, I hereby appoint you to the Office of Command Sergeant Major, 124th Regional Training Institute. In so appointing you, you are charged with the utmost leadership and mentorship for all non-commissioned officers in the regiment, imposing sound advice to the unit's officers and showing care and compassion for all soldiers and their families. Having been chosen over all of your peers, you are finally charged with dignity, impartiality, 
morality, integrity, and creativity, thus presenting a sterling example for all to embrace. Having transferred the sword from one sergeant major to the other would demonstrate to the soldiers of the 124th that Command Sergeant Major Ravtoy has passed the responsibility of the unit to Command Sergeant Major Digby. And with this also passes the loyalty and unity of the soldiers. We have been called upon by our governor to practice social distancing in order to stop the spread of the coronavirus. We have a new enemy and a new front line. Because of that, we are unable to perform this familiar ceremony in the way we're used to, but the spirit of the ceremony lies within us. And I know that all the soldiers of the 124th will join me in wishing a fond farewell, albeit virtually, to Command Sergeant Major Rabtoy and a hearty welcome to Command Sergeant Major Digby. Thank you and stay well.